On September 9th, 1994, the greatest sports spectacle took place at UFC 3. Kempo Karate second degree black belt Keith Hackney was pitted against the largest athlete on earth at the time, Emmanuel Yabro, standing at a monstrous 6 foot 8, 600 pounds. And no, that is not an exaggeration. Yarbro actually held the Guinness World Record for the heaviest living athlete alive. Thankfully, at the time, UFC had no weight divisions, so Emmanuel did not have to cut weight to face the much smaller 5'11", Keith Hackney. Before the fight even started, you just knew it would be a good one. A true David vs. Goliath sequel, a 100 AD gladiator fight, Mortal Kombat in real life, all mangled into one. This was the fight of the night before the night even began. It didn't matter if these men even knew how to fight. All that mattered was the absurdness of the fight taking place. It was like taking in the sight of a zoo exhibit and wondering how such a creature could exist. People were wondering how such a fight could be booked. People could not look away. Before the UFC would become the UFC that we all know and love, it originally was structured in a tournament-like bracket. The Hackney and Yarbrough fight was scheduled for the first round and was the most anticipated fight in the tourney. The men made their entrances. Yarbrough in his usual white pants paying homage to his sumo-like style, and Keith Hackney walking in wearing a black tank top and sporting some gnarly flow. The fighters were able to wear whatever they wanted, a breath of fresh air compared to today's Reebok mandatory dress code. The fight began, and Hackney was circling the octagon, the lighter of the two fighters. After throwing a couple of sidekicks, Hackney realized they would do no damage to the naturally padded legs of Yarborough. And then boom! <coughs> out of nowhere, Hackney hits him with a clean open hand palm strike to the face that sends Yarborough tumbling to the ground, causing a faint earthquake with a magnitude of 2.23 on the Richter scale. Surprisingly for a big man of his size, he got up quite quickly, showing why he's the largest athlete on earth and not just the largest. Yobaro then executes a not so beautiful single leg takedown while on his knees and hammers in some vicious blows to Hackney's head. Hackney, in a desperate attempt to get on his feet, had to sacrifice his tank and spin away. This caused his tank top to turn into what you would call a toga, which really played up to the David vs Goliath Roman-like battle taking place before our eyes. Yobaro then took hold of Hackney's remaining fabric and thrusted Hackney through the cage, the first and last time this would ever happen. While Hackney was in the crowd mesmerized by the big man's strength, Yarbrough stood accomplished and stared down Hackney, which the film 300 would later draw inspiration from in the iconic scene, This is Sparta. Unlike the movie Sparta though, where the Persian diplomat is pushed off a cliff and is never seen again, Hackney walked back into the cage three seconds later to Yarbrough's dismay. After a couple bob and wheeze by Hackney, he was caught in a single leg takedown attempt once again. This time though, Hackney used his fists and landed several vicious uppercuts to Yarbrough's unprotected head. Again, Yarbrough stumbled to the ground, only causing a 1.2 magnitude earthquake this time. No second later, Hackney started swinging on the down giant like his life depended on it, using his arm as a club. Clearly, Hackney's wrist was broken, but he continued to rain down strikes with his forearm. It was barbaric, but also oh so beautiful, seeing the lengths a man will go in order to survive. After several unanswered blows in a CTE later, Yabro verbally tapped, and Hackney beat all odds and won. David, two. Goliath, zero. Unfortunately though, he did break his wrist, so he was unable to go further and increase his undefeated record. Next time you're scrolling through Reddit and you happen to stumble upon a greatest fights in the UFC discussion, do us all a favor and remind them about UFC 3 Hackney vs Yarborough. Not only was this the greatest fight of all time, but it was truly the greatest sporting event that has ever taken place in human history. Well, that just about sums up this video. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe. Thank you. We'll see you next time.